Light is one of the environmental factors that affect plant growth. There are three principal characteristics of light that affect plant growth. These are quality, quantity, and duration. This video will focus on light quality. What is light quality? Light quality refers to the color or wavelength of light. Visible light is electromagnetic radiation that is visible to the human eye. Visible light consists of wavelengths in a range from about 380 nanometers to about 740 nanometers. The visible light range is located between the invisible infrared, which is found at longer wavelengths, and the invisible ultraviolet, which is found at shorter wavelengths. Sunlight supplies a complete range of wavelengths. Light quality refers to the spectral distribution of light, or the relative number of photons of blue, green, red, far red, and other portions of the light spectrum emitted from a light source. Some of these portions are visible, whereas others are not. Light wavelengths are measured in nanometers. A nanometer, abbreviated NM, is one billionth of a meter. Differences in the light spectrum. Blue light, green light, and red light make up the spectrum of light primarily used for photosynthesis. Blue light is the portion of light that has wavelength between 400 and 500 nanometers. Green light is the portion of light that has wavelength between 500 and 600 nanometers. Red light is the portion of light that has a wavelength between 600 and 700 nanometers. About half the sun's radiation falls within the photosynthetic wave band. The rest of the sun's energy has shorter wavelengths including ultraviolet light or longer wavelengths, which includes far red light and infrared radiation. Effect of light quality on plant growth. Plants appear green to us because they reflect rather than absorb green light. Red and blue light which plants absorb have the greatest effect on plant growth. There are peaks in the red and blue wavelengths where photosynthetic activity is higher. Blue light is responsible primarily for vegetative growth. When blue light alone is supplied to plants, growth is shorter, hard, and dark in color. The proportion of red light relative to the amount of far red light, which is referred to as the red to far red ratio, influences stem elongation, particularly in full sun crops. When plants are grown in red light, Growth is soft and the internodes are long resulting in tall plants. Red light, when combined with blue light, promotes flowering. Plants adapt their growth to try to position their stems and leaves so that they receive more desirable light conditions. Plants have different kinds of receptors that perceive light quality or the colors of light to which they are exposed. One of these receptors is phytochrome, which is sensitive to the amount of red light relative to the amount of far red light. The ratio of red to far red light also controls flowering in plants that are sensitive to day length. Plants that grow best under high light, or the full sun, are more responsive to changes in the ratio of red to far red light than plants that tolerate low light, being in the shade. Spectroradiometers are used to measure light quality. These instruments can cost $4,000 or more. Greenhouse growers don't usually need to measure light quality because it's relatively fixed for each light source, whether it be natural sunlight or artificial light from lamps. The distribution of light and the red to far red ratio varies between light sources. Knowing these values can be useful to predict the impact of different light sources on plant growth. The large amount of far red light emitted from incandescent lamps and their low lamp efficiency illustrates some of the undesirable attributes of these lamps. The following chart shows not only the differences in light quality based on light sources, but it also clearly indicates how one light source may have drastically different effects on different plants. Look for future videos to learn more about light quantity, daily light integral, and supplemental lighting.